Hello, movie lovers. Yes, it's Friday, and you're with Bob. And we're going to talk about the movies I watched this week. I didn't watch that many. At least I don't think I did. But anyway, let's talk about them. See what we see. What see what I watched. I watched Shudder. <coughs> Shudder, the movie called Shudder, and it's from 2008. It stars Joshua Jackson and Rachel Taylor. Rachel Taylor's in uh, Jessica Jones as uh, the blonde girl. What's her name? Patsy Walker? Yeah, she's in. She was so in 2008, she was in Shudder. This is a remake of the 2004 movie. Shutter, I think it was called Shutter, but Japanese, Japanese. So this is a remake of the Japanese movie. Now this, two people just get married. He has a job over in Japan, so they go to Japan. He's a photographer, he takes pictures, right, of models and things like that. Anyway, they take some pictures with their camera and every time they get their pictures back, there's this white line, there's this white stuff in their pictures. He takes pictures and they're all ruined and she has pictures, she takes them and they're all got these white lines in it. It's a really creepy movie. But I, from what I've read and seen, the Japanese original movie is a lot scarier than this one. But uh, it's, it's, it's okay, it's a good movie to watch. It's a little bit, uh, I wouldn't say scary. You know, it's jumpy, you know, things happen. It's pretty, it's, it's made pretty good, I liked it. I gave it a seven, yeah, for Shudder. 2008, so so it's a very good movie. A good seven out of ten. You can watch it; it's very watchable. So that's all right with Shutter. It's just short little, you know, videos on movies I watched. This one is another one, The Breed, starring uh, what's her name, Michelle Rodriguez. She's in those Fast and Furious movies, and she was in a movie I watched the other night about uh, ladies that their husbands got uh, killed and they t they're taking over the business. But I watched it on Netflix. I forget what it's called now. Anyway, can't remember. Uh, that one wasn't very good. I didn't like that, so I didn't put it in here. I forgot. But anyway, the breed. Now these people, they're young, right? This is 2006. This is 13 years ago. So they're in their early 20s. So they, they go to an island Right, they're having a holiday, there's five or six of them or something like that. So they end up on this island in a cabin, right? You know, they brought the beer and the games and, you know, fish and stuff and all that. They're going to have a good time. So there's six of them on the island. And the next thing you know, there's dogs. They see dogs running around, right? And then they said, I thought we were the only ones on the island. Well, before years ago, they used to have a dog place on there and breed dogs. But they find out later on that they were experimenting on the dogs. So the starts, dogs start getting a little carried away and then all of a sudden they notice, are those dogs thinking? Are they really, are they thinking? So anyway, how many of them are left at the end of the movie? They start off at six. And by the end of the movie, well, you're gonna have to watch it. I give this movie, it's a worthwhile watch. Wes Craven stuff, you know Wes Craven. So I give it a, it's not a bad movie, it's not a great movie, but it's a, you, you can watch it, like I said, watch it, it's quite all right, it's viewable. And this one gets a seven. Did I, did I rate Shudder? This one gets a seven too. It's just a movie you can watch. Now, on the other hand, you get movies like this. First Born, 2006, Elizabeth Shue and Stephen McIntosh. Now, they move into a big house, big son of a bitch of a house, a swimming pool and everything, right? And she starts, this one has a baby, and she starts acting a little funny and her mother shows up. Anyway, there's no sense talking about this movie because it's, uh, what do you call it? What do they call those movies? Boring. The whole movie. But two hour long movie, it's just a boring movie. I give it a maybe a four out of a six. Don't bother. If you come across this one, Firstborn 2006, 
pass it up, leave it there, don't bother with it because you're wasting your time. So, yeah, it's a waste of time, that one, Firstborn. All right, what else? Now, if you're gonna watch a movie, got something in my face. Now, if you're gonna watch a movie, watch this one. The Red Shoes from 1948. All she wants to do is dance, the ballet. And Christian Anderson, do you know The Red Shoes? This is a very well done movie. I like this movie. I've had this movie for, oh geez, a long time now. But yeah, it's a girl that likes dancing in the ballet. And she uh, marries this guy. Uh, he's our, what do you call it, writer? Probably he's the piano and stuff. And uh, the ballet in this, like the dancing and the show, the music and everything, it's great. It's a lovely movie. If you haven't seen The Red Shoes, I give it an 8 out of 10. If you haven't seen The Red Shoes, like I said, I keep repeating myself, Bob. Watch it. The Red Shoes from 1948. You'll love it. And especially if you like ballet. I, 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 I mean, I, I don't know. I shouldn't say I like ballet. Yeah, I, I went to a few places years ago. Classical music and stuff like that, right? And I sat there in the audience and I like, I like classical music. But anyway, that's another topic for another day, classical music. Hans Christian Andersen's The Red Shoes. Seek it out, watch it, you'll love it. All right, what else did I watch? Get my trusty book out, see? All right, I watched 1962 TCM. I watched Experiment in Terror, starring Glenn Ford, Lee Remick in her third movie, and Ross Martin. He breathes heavy. I think he's got, uh, what do you call it? Uh, he can't breathe good. What's that? He's an asthmatic, right? Yes. Anyway, uh, Lee Remick is a bank teller. Yes. And a strange man demands money from her. She comes home, she's in her garage, she gets out, and there's a man in the garage. He put, you know, he grabs her, and he tells her, right? I want $100,000, and you're going to steal it for me. And if you don't get it, you don't come across the money by the end of the week, I'm going to kill your sister. And he, and she, he knows everything about her. Sister, what school she goes to, what swimming pool, swim, swimming pool she goes to. She knows He knows everything about Lee Remick, about the bank, and everything. So, Lee Remick gets in touch with the FBI, which is Glenn Ford. And she tells Glenn Ford. So now they're on the hunt for this guy. And this guy phones her up all the time with that deep voice. Anyway, it's a uh, very, very good movie. Uh, in if you want to call it intense, I guess. Yeah, there's some scenes and it's like, yeah, 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 yeah. But it's good. It's all good. Film noir, right? Film noir movie. It's a 7 out of 10. I liked it. And if this was on again sometime next month or next year, I'd give it another watch. I mean, I don't own this. I've seen it on TCM, right? So I don't have, at least I don't think I have it in my possession. And the other movie, TCM, of course, 1949, Rocketeers. Rocketeers. Jeez, I didn't write the name of the movie down. Oh my God, Bob, you're stupid. Anyway, Rocketeers and Fruit Truck Drivers. Anybody remember that one? Yeah, I, I, I'm dumb. Richard Conte and Lee, Lee J. Cobb and Valentina Cortessa. She's an Italian actress. She acted in this movie. She's still alive today over in Italy. She made a few movies here, or in the States, and then she went back home. So that's a film noir, too. It's about truck drivers, right? Uh, driving... Uh, Apples, getting apples right and taking them down to the, you know, the, what do you call it, where they drop off apples and everybody buys the fruit off everybody and stuff like that. That's a very good movie. It's getting ripped off, stealing people's money, beating people up. A regular story. And I can't remember the name of the movie because I didn't write it down. Anyway, that gets a 7 out of 10. You remember that movie, how I uh, said it? Well, you know what I'm talking about. Richard Conte and Lee J. Cobb. Rocketeers and fruit truck drivers. Like I said, I forget the name of the freaking movie, Bob, you dummy. All right, I think it's a seven. It's a good movie, seven out of ten. I mean, though I don't know the name of it because I forgot. I can look it up in the book probably, but anyway. Anyway, 
uh, I read, I seen another movie, Jackie, from 2016. You know, Jackie Kennedy, uh, John F. Kennedy's wife, right? You know, John F. Kennedy got assassinated, and so it's her story. Um, deals with uh, her immense grief, you know, from all the things that she went through, sitting in the car and blood all over her and stuff like that, right? And she has to, have, you know, the responsibility of his funeral, putting the funeral together, and what she wants done, and looking after her two kids at the time and her being in the White House and, you know, the new president comes in and his wife and his wife starts changing things around again. They all do that, right? They all do that. But that's a very good story. If you haven't seen Jackie, watch it. It's it's a, it's a good watch. It's a good watch. It's another seven movie, right? It's a it's a good movie. That's all. Just watch it. If you haven't seen it, Bob says watch it. It's okay. Natalie, Natalie Portman stars as Jackie, right? So that's good. Yeah, and that's on the movie channel here, Crave TV. And I watched another movie. It was called Hitman, Agent 47 from 2015. And I watched that movie for maybe half an hour, 40 minutes. And I went, uh, no. No, I shut it off. So I'm, I'm not even going to rate it because I never watched it. I didn't like it. I just, I don't know, it just didn't jive with me, man. You know what I'm saying? So I shut it off. Big man. I'd rather watch Pink Dry. Hitman, Agent 47. Now, if you want to have some fun in movies, I watch War Dogs, based on a true story. Two down on their luck pals become arm dealers. They're in their early 20s, and they get a contract to sell to the American government arms. <laughs> Only in America. Anyway, they won a contract, right? $300 million. They're going to get paid $300 million for delivering these uh, what do you call it? Guns. Guns? Just say like guns, right? So it's all about that. They win a contract and they're down there and selling guns to the to, to the United States Army. It's all about them, right? And, you know, who they rip off, even though one of them doesn't know the other guy's ripping people off or not paying his bills, stuff like that. It's But there's a few funny, funny parts in it, right? You know, laugh, laugh, have a little laugh. But it's based on a true story. This really did happen. There was really a couple of young guys selling guns. They were only in their early 20s, right? And one of them was a massage therapist. He'd visit people, right? Take his bat along, give people rubs, mostly men. <laughs> yeah, he'd oil the men all down all over their box and give them a little rub. He got $75 an hour for doing that. <laughs> anyway, they started selling guns, like I said, so. That was funny. It was a serious movie, but at the same time, they, there was funny parts in it. So, yeah, that was a fun watch. And that, that only gets a 7 out of 10, too. It's just a watch. You can watch it. But anyway, that's it for their movies as far as I, as far as I understand what I watched. So, that's it. Oh, yeah, and there's no Rick and Bob show tomorrow. Or next Saturday, for that matter. Because tomorrow I'm heading off to Oshawa with my brothers, Donnie and Sammy. We're going to have a barbecue, right? Play some darts. It's a long weekend here in Canada, so Monday's a day off. So Donnie will be here tomorrow morning, and I'll be leaving here about 11 o'clock. So have a good weekend, and all you people in Canada, have a good long weekend. All right? Talk to you next week. Yeah, next Friday. I should be around next Friday. Yeah, all right. So have a good week, people. Keep watching those movies.